come back to the channel and this lab is very complicated so i request you please watch the video carefully and i will explain each point in detail so first of all just log in with your credentials and once you're done your looker dashboard must look like this now what you have to do just simply come on the task number one and now here just check what we have to do click on explore then go to flights so just simply click on this explore option then in faa click on the flights it will take a couple of seconds to load the data meanwhile just check the point number three four what we have to do go to flights detail then measure and then click on the cancel count so let me just increase the size for you you can see flight details click over here just simply scroll down you can see measure and then click on the cancel count just simply click on this name and this column will add it over here now do the same thing for the point number four fight uh, sorry flights dimension and departed so just simply scroll up you can see flights then dimension then depart date click over here and from here what we have to choose we have to choose week so just click on that week and the week column also add over here so we are done with the point number three and point number four now time for point number five what we have to do we have to create a filter over here filter of what date so just come over here in flights okay then depart date and you can see this date and if you just hover over here you can see these three options so the middle one these three lines is denoted to filter so just simply click on this filter option like this and once you click over here you can see depart date filter has added okay do not click on that name otherwise this thing add to your data so once you're done with this now what we have to choose you can see is in the year so just simply come click over here and from here choose the is in the year like this now here just type 2004 so we had a sorry 2004 as they mentioned okay so it's done now just simply click on run it will take a couple of seconds and if you just simply click on the visualization you can see the data now here what you have to do first of all you have to choose the line okay most of the time it choose the line already because they already mentioned if not just choose this option now what you have to do click on this edit option then click on this series and just simply scroll down and here you can see point and point style from here choose the outline so you can see this thing is added now click on this y scroll down at bottom you can see a reference line click on this add reference line okay once you click over here you can see the type must be line and value must be average mean okay so you have done with all the stuff just simply click on gear icon everything is changes now just simply click on this gear icon then from here just simply click on this as a look save as a look click on that now here what you have to do just simply scroll down we have done with all this stuff now from the point number 17 just copy the name do not copy that full stop okay just copy this name do not copy this full stop okay copy that and paste over here it, make sure there is no extra space otherwise you will get a unnecessary error so once you're done with this just simply click on save and you can see that it has saved now if you just simply scroll down and click on the check my progress you will get a score without any issue if you make any mistake you won't get a score on that particular task okay now the task number two is similar what you have to do first of all just click on this hamburger then click on this flight again just please pay the attention the way i am doing this lab okay click on that hamburger then click on this flights again wait for a second and you can see we got a new page now what you have to do just simply scroll down and from the point number three click on first of all we have to go to flights then measure and count long flights so you can see flights then measure and just check for the count long flight. so this is a fourth option so just click on that name and column has added now for here just click on this flights measure and total distance so just simply scroll down and here you can see total distance so again add this thing so we are done with the point number four now for the point number five we have to go to careers then dimension and name so just simply scroll up again you can see careers so click over here then dimension and the name so click on that name so you can see these three columns has added over here okay so once we are done with this just simply scroll down and check the point number four we have to create a filter filter for what percentage long flight so just simply come over to flights then go to measures and if you just simply scroll down and from the last third 
option you can see percentage long flights and what we have to do we have to create a filter so that's why we are going to click on these three lines okay do not click on that name just click on these three lines and once you click over here you can see the filter has added make sure your column has three your data has three column okay now from here what you have to do we have to choose the less than or equal to option you can see this thing less than or equal to now here please pay attention i know most of you guys make this mistake we have to choose 0.25 make sure this is 0.25 not 25 so just copy this 0.25 and paste over here make sure of that thing okay so once we're done with this now click on this table option okay so it's done now click on this edit from here as a table theme we have to choose gray and just dip, disable this show number show row number okay so everything is sorted make sure this is 0.25 there are only three columns and it's less than or equal to 0.25 everything is done click on this gear icon and just simply click on run just wait for a second and you must get a, this kind of output and just check the name delta airlines and if you just simply scroll down from here you can see delta airlines okay now what you have to do just copy this name carefully do not copy that full stop again i'm saying copy this name click on this gear icon save and save as a loop and just paste the name make sure there is no extra space otherwise you will get an unnecessary error and just simply click on save and it's saved successfully if you haven't make any mistake if you just simply click on check my progress you will get a score without any issue and now we have to just come on the task number three and task number three is very easy basically what you have to do just simply scroll down and the point number six just copy this name do not copy that full stop copy this name click on this hamburger then click on this down back arrow then click on this folders and from here choose the my folder wait for a second and you will get these three looks so first of all just click on this cancel flight look wait for a second it's loading the data and it's done now click on this gear icon okay and now instead of save choose the second option called to an existing dashboard and if you remember we already copy the name for the uh, new dashboard from here from the point number six so just copy this name now click on this new dashboard and just paste the name flights data and click on ok wait for a second and from here choose your dashboard name and just simply click on add look to dashboard and it's done okay so we have done with this now again just simply click on the folder again my folder again and again we have done with this thing now we have to just click on this total distance to long flight click over here just wait and data is loaded again click on the settings from here choose the to an existing dashboard click on here and from here choose the flight data and again click on add to dashboard wait for a second and this thing also added now if you just simply scroll down and click on check my progress you will get a score without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section guys thanks for watching and have a good day